All right, everybody, welcome back to Buenos Aires, Argentina. We are out today uh, on a foggy, cloudy morning here in Buenos Aires, and we're going to a very cool place. It's right across the street here. You can see it just opened up uh, and like a couple minutes ago, and there's a bunch of people going into it. It's very, very popular. It is the Eco Parque. Eco Parque. It's on the site of the former Buenos Aires Zoo. There's a bunch of cool animals apparently wandering around in there, and we're gonna go try and see them. So come along. Before we do that, I just want to say real quick thank you very much for watching the video. Click the like button and the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. It's free, it's easy, and it will help the channel grow and help this content reach other YouTube viewers. All right, back to the video. All right, we found the end of the line, so to speak. The line is moving very quickly. Um, now, it's like limited how many people can get into this place at a time. And something that I didn't mention in some of the previous uh, videos is we're actually here in Buenos Aires at an interesting time. We're here during um, the like school-wide winter break for two weeks. So all the kids are out of school. So a place like this is extra, extra popular right now. And uh, I think we're gonna be able to get in no problem because like I said, we got here like right when it opened and it looks like they're just letting everybody in. So shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, they're letting us right in, no problem. We're in, okay, so this place is, uh, like I said, Eco Parque. And um, it used to be on the site of the Buenos Aires Zoo, which is actually a very old zoo. And in addition to there being like potentially really cool animals wandering around in here, there is also like very cool architecture. Awesome old buildings and fountains and all kinds of stuff in here. Um, as you can see, it's a very cloudy, foggy, gray morning, but the weather report says, well, it says that it's gonna be getting nicer towards the afternoon and the late morning. So who's, who knows, maybe the fog will burn off and the sun will come in, but either way, we're here and we're gonna try and see some animals. Now, it's not really a zoo in the sense of zoos that you would think. Um, mainly, it used to be a zoo and uh, I don't really like zoos. Um, I don't like zoos at all. Um, the only place that we've been so far on our trip that's even like I don't know, like close to being a zoo is when we were visiting the ruins of Pumapongo in Cuenca and they had like a little aviary in there with some birds. And I didn't even know that was in there. And to be honest, it was cool to see, but uh, I kind of don't like stuff like that because basically it's just like animal jail. You know what I mean? I know zoos do a lot of good work with conservation and things like that, but a lot of the times they're kind of crooked. It's just animal jail and um, I don't like that. I don't like going to zoos and seeing animals that should be roaming free, like stuck in a tiny little cage, pacing around in circles, um, clearly like suffering from mental health issues. Uh, it, it's not cool. It's not cool. I don't like it. Uh, so I don't really go to zoos that often and every city we've been to pretty much so far has had like a zoo of some sort and I haven't wanted to go but this place this place is kind of different because it used to be a zoo and uh, they changed it in I don't remember what year I'll put it in the subtitle but they changed it to an eco parque which is basically like they let a limited amount of visitors in at a time you get to wander around the animals that are in here are like animals that are native to the uh, this area and they wander around sort of freely and you can just sort of see them wandering around in here rather than having like animals that are not from native to this area like all stuck in cages and whatnot like it used to be here actually so I think we're gonna start a little wander and I'm not gonna tape I'm not gonna film the entire time because this place is very very big so we'll just wander and we'll see what we see and when I see interesting things, I'll turn the camera on and we'll talk about them a little. And I will, I will preface this all by saying the main reason that I wanted to come here, uh, and I really, really hope we get to see them, is apparently there are capybaras here. Now, I think capybaras are super cool. Uh, I've heard that they're insanely chill. And uh, I've never seen one before in real life, and I really want to. So, 
Let's do a little wander, see what we see. All right, this right here, first off, is the Lago Darwin. Darwin Lake. It's like a little uh, man-made lake, named of course after Charles Darwin. And around it, like I mentioned, there's some really cool old buildings. This is something to see here, even if we don't end up seeing all the animals that we want to see. Uh, we'll be able to see some cool old buildings because they maintained a lot of them, like that one over there. And there's one like right back here behind the uh, behind these trees. And they used to be like, you know, old animal enclosures and things like that. And they've, uh, they've converted some of them to be, you know, different things. And some of them are just there just as like, you know, look, here's a cool building you can appreciate. But they also have like um, native plants around here that they've replaced everything. You can see right here they have like little signs that show you information about the native plants. They've really turned this whole um, former zoo into, they've really turned this whole former zoo into a, uh, almost like a little wildlife preserve right in the middle of the city. And <clears throat> they're working on con uh, conservation efforts, but also like a lot of the animals, some of the animals that were here in the zoo when it was still a zoo, um, because they're too old or they have an injury or an illness, illness or something and they can't be relocated um, they sort of stay here as um, as like ambassadors right where they do educational programs with them to teach kids about um, about those animals but for the most part if an animal is healthy enough or was healthy enough to be able to be um, transported to a different like conservation center um, they, they've done that with the former zoo animals so the animals that you see like sort of wandering around here are all like or should be all native native species one thing we're gonna have to navigate as we walk around here is since we just showed up everybody flocked in and like people are trying to take pictures in front of everything which is great um, but I don't want to walk into anyone's picture by accident that's very rude here over here we can see some info about uh, different native birds, waterfowl, different parrots, all kinds of cool stuff. All right, let's keep walking. We had our first animal sighting, and it's a duck. Look, guys, it's a duck. There was another bird here too. This little child came over and crept up very carefully, very, very slowly, very quietly, as if he wanted to get closer and see the birds up close. And then he immediately started, started stomping and clapping and trying to scare them away. And he scared one of them away, but not this duck. This duck did not give a damn. Just stayed here, hanging out, poking around in the mud for, I don't know, grubs and bugs and whatnot for breakfast. I imagine the animals are pretty accustomed to humans at this point and they realize that uh, the humans are basically gonna like walk up film them get close maybe but not like bug them too much first animal here's the rest of the duck crew hanging out over here and across the river, just past those trees, there's a little monkey. There's a couple of them, actually. <laughs> a couple of little monkeys, monos. Let's see if we can get a better shot on the monos, on the monkeys. Look at them. I don't know what type of monkeys these are. There's a sign over there. I'm sure that'll tell us what type of monkeys these are, but it's cool. I think this... I imagine this middle island here is like the monkey spot. There's lots of platforms and ropes and stuff, which is usually indicative of like monkeys. They set that stuff up so they can climb around and whatnot. Yeah, you see them? There are two of them. There's two of them wandering around under the trees in there. Down on the ground. 
Yo. Very cool. We've seen a bunch of animals already, and we've only been here for like 10 minutes. And while all that commotion is going on over there, about the monkeys, this duck, still, still just chilling over here, poking around in the mud. I did see a peacock over here. Hold on, let's go over here, there's two of them. Come in and zoom in and check them out. Oh, look at this. So there's two peacocks, and there are these little rodenty type things. I do not know what these are. Peacocks and little I don't know what's. We're gonna have to find a sign around here. We're gonna have to find a sign to tell us what these things are, but look at them, they're adorable. Oh. Scared each other off. I really have to find a sign and figure out what these things are called because I can't just be walking around calling them rodent deers. They're going at it though. I imagine they time this out, right? And they, uh, oh, there's some sort of muskrat in there. They're like in the feeder, just chilling while the others sort of hang out on the outside. That's cool. This is another reason I think it's probably a good idea to like get here uh, right when it opens is because I imagine, I imagine they put the, uh, they fill up the feeders to get all the animals to come out like right when everybody shows up here, right? We saw monkeys, again. All right, uh, let's find a little, let's find a sign and find out what, what these are. So it looks like these are the different kinds of monkeys. Manokai, Manokaraya ne Karaya Negro, y Mono Mirinkina. Mirinkina. I'm not sure what type of those three are over there on the island. It's kind of hard to tell. It's kind of hard to tell because they're far away. They're far away, so it's hard to see like exactly what their markings are. Also, those. Uh, those drawings on the sign there are not in color, so like the pictures, it's kind of hard to tell. Whatever they are, they're adorable. Look at these adorable little monkeys. And the kids love them too. You can hear them in the background saying, Mono, Mono, Mono. This guy, ah, okay, this is what they are. It is a Carpincho. Carpinchos. That's what we've been seeing. Carpinchos. We found another peacock chilling over here doing its morning cleaning routine. Very cool. Oh, here's something. Look, it's a bird. I don't know what kind of bird this is, but I just saw him wandering around. See, this is cool. This is like you're just sort of wandering along, talking into a camera like an idiot. And then over here, wandering past the porta potties, you see like uh, a bird. Some kind of cool bird, I don't know. And you can see a security guy right there in the background, see? And this is what I mentioned. Like, there's a lot of security around here, which is good. To just to make sure that people aren't messing with the animals, you know what I mean? And the animals get like free reign to do exactly what they want to do. And, uh,. And we're just here, we're just here like in their house, hanging out as guests, which is good. It's the way it should be. One thing I gotta be really careful around here about is poop. Now, I've been walking around South American cities for uh, several months now. And uh, there's a lot of stray dogs in South American cities, some more than others. So you gotta watch out. You gotta watch out for stray poop. And I have been very, very good about making sure to not step in any poop. I haven't. Ha it hasn't happened once. Uh, but here, 
I don't know, there's like sneaky poop. Poop that, uh, you know, I'm not used to looking for. So I gotta watch out. Lots of animals wandering around. Lots of different poops. Gotta be careful. Oh, here's some more of those, uh, what were those things called? Carpinchos? Carpinchos. These guys, I guess, just sort of wander around all over the park. They like... And this is the thing, you know, the, they're so used to seeing humans, right? All of these animals, right? They're not skittish at all. These dudes are just like chilling right here. Check them out. They're just sort of hanging out. And I don't know, like, I don't know what these carpinchos are. I didn't even know their name until like five minutes ago. But they look a little skittish. They look like in no, under normal circumstances, if they were not like here and used to humans, that they would be kind of skittish. That they wouldn't just be hanging out here. This guy seems to be letting us uh, get pretty close. Can walk very slowly so as to not startle Mr. Carpincho here. They're very cool animals. They they look based on their springy back legs with giant feet. They look kind of uh, that one's moving. They look kind of kangarooish almost in a way. It's very strange. It's an interesting animal. It's not like any other animal that I've ever seen before. Carpinchos. Here's the other thing. No predators. I mean, they can't really have, like, predators wandering around. Because, I mean, could you imagine? <laughs> like, some kids watching a, a little carpincho. All of a sudden, like, a giant eagle or something swoops down and just grabs it. Or, like, some other, like, horrific predator comes out and just destroys it right in front of him. That'd be traumatizing, right? The kid would be traumatized forever. There's a couple more right here. Try and be, like, very, very quiet and calm. Because there are other people that are trying to film the carpinchos here. And I don't want to freak them out. There's a couple of carpinchos running around in the uh, in the path here, and I hear a golf cart or something coming behind me, which is totally going to scare them away. Carpinchos. All right, we've seen a lot of carpinchos, and um, they're cool. We're still on the hunt. We're on the hunt for capybara. On the way, on our our long hunt for capybara, we found some sort of bird, some sort of flightless bird. Guanacos, like a llama type. Llama, alpaca, of that family of animal back there. See him? And this flightless bird who's just like super showing off for everybody. I don't know what kind of bird this is. So this is one of the, um, like I mentioned, there are some uh, animals in some, that are in enclosures like this because they're um, too old or injured or whatever, and they, for whatever reason, they they can't really move them to another conservation place, so they sort of have to stay here, which I think is uh, is fine. I think what's good about this place is they're, they're doing their best to aim for or conservation whenever possible, right? It's a tourist attraction, yes. Lots of people come here. It's free also. I forgot to mention that. It's free to get in. Um, <clears throat> but they are trying their best to make it a place of um, conservation with the tourism and whatnot being completely secondary. So I applaud, I applaud the Eco Parque for what they're doing. 
they're doing a, they're doing an excellent job here. There's more uh, little carpinchos over here. These guys are like out now, like full on. I see them running around all over the place, just like like they they have full reign of this place. They're running around uh, on the paths, like chasing each other around. They're hanging out underneath the trees, foraging for uh, for food and and pooping. This is their place. We're just guests. That bird is sort of like settled in over here. Settled in, just hanging out, cleaning itself and taking a look just to make sure everything's copacetic. The uh, other creature, guana, guaca, guaca, guana, go, that llama thing, over there chilling. Uh, hippo? Are you kidding? Get the f out of here! I, I said there were no, no predators. Hippos, man, they hippos are mean. Is there really a hippo in here? Having a hippo around here would be, I don't know, a little dangerous. They are pretty dangerous animals. Maybe there was one, maybe there is one, he's inside. Who knows? Oh, I see an ostrich and a giraffe over here in a uh, one of the traditional enclosures. A couple of giraffes, actually. This is, uh, like I mentioned, the uh, traditional enclosures with certain animals that uh, they either haven't moved yet or they, um, they are unable to move them. Oh, before we go, look over here. Some sort of a, I don't know, like a tapir kind of a thing. I don't know what this is, but look at him. Very cool does look kind of like a tapir. Hanging out. Cool. Yeah. And of course, there's some, uh, <laughs> some carpinchos hanging out right there because this is like their, they like, you know, like I said, they own this place. They're buddies with the giraffe and the ostrich. Two ostriches. <laughs> so there were actually more carpinchos like hanging out right outside where the giraffes were. There were like 10 of them. And I think what's happening is the giraffes, they had the feeders up high. They, you know, filled with uh, greenery and vegetables and whatnot. And they're eating them out of there but they're dropping some while they're eating and the carpinchos are just there like cleaning it all up. Nature. I was walking along and I heard a little child yell, capybara, capybara. And I looked over and it's, uh, it's another carpincho. <laughs> so it turns out what we saw before that we thought was a tapir is a tapir. And uh, I think there's another one inside this. Uh... Oh yeah, there he is. Oh, there he is with his, his little friends, the carpinchos. Those carpinchos are everywhere, man. They've, they've taken over, 100%. In one of the traditional zoo enclosures, they have a camel, perhaps, who uh, is maybe too old to be moved, or maybe they're in the process of trying to find a place to move them to, because camels, of course, are not native. Camels are not native to Argentina. I don't know if you knew that or not, but they're not. Continue. Continue our search. Our search for capybara. I'm, I am getting like we've walked around um, almost this entire place now, and I haven't seen anything uh, 
no capybara, only only many many carpinchos. So we're getting close to the time where I'm gonna have to ask someone because uh, if there's if there's a possibility of us seeing capybara, I don't want to leave before we see them. Very cool, a whole crew of them, thirty or forty. Flamingos. I've lost count of how many different types of animals we've seen so far, but it's a lot. I was a little, I don't know, not nervous, but like uh, unsure of how many exactly animals we'd be able to see just because like, you know, it's not a traditional zoo. The animals are just sort of like, most of them get to just sort of be where they are, wherever they are, wherever they want to be. And like you happen to see them, right? And we've happened to see a lot of them actually. I mean, most of them have been those carpinchos because those things are everywhere. But um, still, this looks like this area is blocked off. Can't go past here. There's a very cool old building over there, and some sort of llama kind of creatures over on the other side. Maybe we can walk around and see those. Oh, I think we're sort of on the other side of that uh, enclosure that we saw before with these big dinosaur birds and the uh, llama-like creature. Back over there eating out of a bucket. More carpinchos, lots of them over here. Look at these guys. I will say, if you're gonna have an animal that just sort of like overruns this place and takes over and they're everywhere, these are pretty cute. <laughs> they're honestly pretty cute. Time. There's been one just chilling right here, hiding out. Found a bison out here, and a couple more actually. It looks like in the little feeding area over there. There he is out there, just chilling. American bison. He's just chilling. And we're actually over on the other side of uh, that large interesting building where the path was closed off. And over here, this is that group of like llama, llama-like creatures over here hanging out. I keep calling them llama-like creatures rather than like trying to figure out what their name is. I know they're not llama. They're not llama, they're not alpaca. They're similar. Here there are tons of fish, koi or something. Anyway, I was told that the capybara may be down there by that that uh, lake, which makes sense because capybara are um, aquatic. They hang out near the water. They swim. They swim in the water, and they hang out by the water. So. I think we should go back to where the most prominent water is, the giant Lago Darwin. 
And we should look there. Even if we don't find them, this is still a very, very cool place. We saw about a million carpinchos, and they were cool. We saw a lot of other cool animals. I still want to see a capybara, though. There may be some hope. I saw a large group of people walking through here, and I figured, what the heck? Let's just like get in behind them and follow them. And as I was walking, as I was walking, there was a security, police, and I asked her just offhand, because I was literally about to leave. I said, hey, are there capybaras around here in the park? And she said like, she seemed very sure. She said, oh yeah, right around here. And she pointed around the corner and she said, there are capybaras over here. The big ones. She even said, Mas grandes. So, I think they're over here somewhere. This is a corner of the park that I don't think I've been to. Like, basically, the only corner of the park that I don't think I've been to. As you can tell from the noise and from taking a look around, the park has gotten very crowded since we first arrived. So it was a good thing that we got here early and uh, we're able to sort of like see some of this stuff before it got super crowded, but uh, I think this actually is the capybara spot. This looks like the capybara spot from some videos that I've seen. But I don't see any capybaras. I do see beautiful goose or some sort of waterfowl but no capybara I've seen a video on YouTube someone else who came and visited of a capybara chilling like right on that ramp right there which makes me think this is the spot Let's see if we can look around a little more well unfortunately I think we have to declare it Mission failed. We did not see, did not see any capybaras. When I went over to where the, the where I was told, where one security guard told me the, the capybaras were, we went over, we looked, and uh, I did notice that enclosure, which I had seen a previous YouTube video, like with someone who had filmed a capybara there, but the video was from like a couple years ago, and it was during the summer. When I asked the security guard over there, hey, are there capybaras around here? She said, uh, I don't think so. She said, I think there used to be some here, but that they died. At least that's what I think she said. Which, it's very sad if that's true. Um, but either way, I think we've basically seen what there is to see, even though we were not able to see capybaras. We were able to see a bunch of really cool animals. We saw tons of carpinchos. Those guys rule this place. They're everywhere. If you want to come see a bunch of carpinchos sort of hanging out, they're very cute. This is definitely the place to do it. Um, and not only that, but other animals too. There's a lot of cool animals here, but I would say, uh, especially if you're coming, like, I think this is a little more crowded than it normally is because this is like winter break. Um, but theoretically, if you were coming like on a weekend, when it would be this crowded. Um, try and get here early. The place opens at 10, and even at 10 o'clock, there was a huge line outside waiting to get in. As you can see, um, the gates, like some of the gates are uh, are closed. Like, like here, they've closed off the main entrance gate, and there's only a place to exit here. They're not letting anybody in through there, so they control the traffic of foot traffic through here, and there's only a limited amount of people allowed in. And like I mentioned, it's super crowded here already. We've only been here for about an hour and a half. So if you decide to come here to Eco Parque Buenos Aires, I would uh, recommend coming early. And uh, But I definitely would recommend coming to this place. It's right on Plaza Italia here, and uh, it's very cool. It's very cool. You're gonna see some cool stuff here for sure. But I think that's going to be it for our video here from Eco Parque. 
Buenos Aires. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed hanging out here with some of the animals, the little carpinchos. And um, our, our, our search continues to see a capybara in, uh, in real life. I guess one of these days we're gonna have to find some, somewhere to go to see a capybara in real life. But uh, until then, hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.